Hi everyone, <clears throat> Power Turtle Buster here, and this is an update video. Um, my last video, I forgot to include the Astro Megazord because I was pressed for time and a few other reasons. So yeah, this video isn't going to really focus on the Rangers, but the Megazord and Astro Megazord. Um, yeah, these figures, like I stated before, um, I'm not really going to touch upon Megazord that much. Oh, the reason why he's doing the splits is this is as wide as his legs go. Um, but yeah, that's just pretty much me trying to show you guys how far his legs spread apart. Uh, the figures are pretty tall. As a matter of fact, Megazord is actually taller, if I'm not mistaken, than the Astro Megazord. Um, yeah, the Astro Megazord is actually a little more hindered in posability than the other Zords, the movie and original Megazord. Uh, arms can only go out this far. This is as far as you're going to get it, guys. Yeah, uh, up and down, in and out a little, again. Uh, waist swivel. His head is on a, like a peg, ball joint peg, I believe. So it's got a little tilt, a little bit of up and down, and left and right. Legs go out this far on this guy. Um, knee bends up this much, not too much. And yeah, this is about all you're getting from this. So yeah, even though everything is pretty much ball joints, um, it's a lot more hindered, but um, this one looks a lot more like a transformer. So I have a little bit more respect for this Zord nowadays after seeing this and a few other Zords of it. Because as a kid, I never really watched this season, so I missed out on a lot of the um, original toys and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I'm really digging it. It's like I said, it's hindered, but I like it. This one on the other end, um, well, under other hand rather, I don't like this. I don't like this ball joint here. This, I don't know. I don't like the way it goes out. It looks weird. Like I stated that before. I don't know if I showed the uh, head articulation before. So you got some up and down, left and right, pivot, pretty much the same as that Zord, the Astro Megazord. Uh, the motion is a lot more um, open instead of restricted as the other one. But that being said, this ball joint here, I'm not too fond of. Um, I mean, the Zord looks great, you know, but again, I would rather it been build a villain, you know, so yeah, uh, I don't know, his joints is just weird because like you could get it to go back this far and I don't know, I mean, and that's not even a problem. I, my problem is this, like, look at how this is. Like this ball is, makes it like his legs broken or something. But yeah, no weapons for either Zord. Um, again, my guess is they are giving us these Zords for these figures in case they don't continue with the, uh, die-cast legacy Zords. So, this way you'll still have his Zords, but, you know, uh, not as expensive and, um, easier to produce, I'm assuming. But, yeah, uh, details... Are pretty much there. Everything's there. Let's see if I could get a focus on the face and everything. So yeah, um, looks good. So yeah, if you guys hear coughing, that's my son. He's sick right now, so bear with me. Uh, didn't set up the lighting or anything in here because. Um, yeah, I wanted to get this video done and not spend too much time, you know, 
not really tending to him, even though he's asleep, but, you know, he's coughing and everything, so he's going to be home from school, and I'm not going to be able to do any videos while he's here from school, um, but yeah, uh, again, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but they have wrist swivels, so, but yeah, the figures, like, as a standard pose, look great, um, let me see if I get them in any dynamic poses, it's a real bummer we don't have the power sword, I mean, we have it, but, you know, it comes with the, uh, Comic-Con Red Ranger, so, um, yeah, you get some pretty good poses out of them. Oh, there's no ball joint here. I don't know. Or a bicep swivel. I don't think I like that. You know, I mean, if that was the case, they should have gave this joint to this part so it wouldn't uh, bend so weird. Or at least gave this a ball joint. This should have had a ball joint like this. Huh. Bandai, just keep me, uh, you know, guessing and wondering what's going on at the top, you know, in their departments of thinking and everything. But yeah, here's, uh, I think this is a pretty good pose for them. What do you guys think? <clears throat> Comment and let me know, you know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was just swivel. You know, I, I don't really like that one. Uh, this no pose ability um can't really do too much uh again he looks good just standing here this this is pretty much it guys for this one is standalone standings so yeah again here are the recent release figures the white oh got her to do the uh go kiger stance from luca I think I tried to do it before in the last video, but didn't really uh, turn out as well. So, yeah. Oh, great. Now I'm not going to be able to stand her again. <laughs> okay. Come on. Stand for me. Stand for me. Ugh. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to show you guys the other figures that came out. Here's the pink. These females have such a hard time standing. Oh my God, it is ridiculous. I don't know what's going on there. Um, their feet not really that small. It's not like a DC figure. So I'm not really sure why I have such a difficult time standing these characters up. Here's blue. And black. Oh, somehow my Black Ranger foot is like warped, angled, weird. So it's supposed to be outward, but you know, what are you going to do? I might return it and pick up another one. I don't know. So yeah, those are the uh, figures that was recently released. The last, well, the last wave, rather. I'm looking forward to the next one, and... Looking forward to making my next video. Um, like, subscribe, share the video, comment. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and yeah, uh, Power Total Buster out.